Hi, I'm in the middle right now of filming another video, but I wanted to take the time to um, share this little this little specimen with you. I this is not sponsored. I came across this product. I was on Yes Style. Okay, now I um, was perusing. I was perusing. I do a little perusing when I'm stocking up on my sunscreen, which traditionally has been the beauty of Chosun sunscreen. When I'm per when I need to like stock up on my sunscreen, I usually buy it in bulk, and then I'll just like peruse. I'll do a little perusing. I'll do a little like looking around for what's new. Okay, like I love to check out what might be new in you know K beauty in particular. So I came across this product, which is the Smiley Lip Blending Stick by Lily by Red. Okay, in a few different shades, maybe like five or six. I picked up, I don't know if it's gonna have the shade, oh God. Um, I will link the shades that I picked up. One in particular, the one that I wanna talk to you about is the lighter contour shade there. I believe there were two contour shades and then some of the other ones were kind of like nude lip colors. Look at this little dude here. This is the little dude, okay? This is a contour stick, it's a lip contour stick. Now, I have always had a soft spot for contour sticks. My whole life, I've, I feel like I've been searching for like the perfect little contour stick. This color is so good. The product itself is extremely blendable and easy to draw with. If you use a lighter hand, you can kind of get like a more precise kind of um, application. And you can blend it out really nicely and you can soften it really easily. Now, this is meant for lips, okay? Uh, now I wanna show you that because I do contour my lips often. Right now, all I have on is foundation. I typically contour my lips. I'll go just above my lip line. Do you see like what a huge difference that just made? And the color, the color is so good. If you're looking for like a cool toned, blurry contour, I'm just gonna pat it out. Look at how good that color is. Are you kidding me? So I like to use this to contour my lips and then sometimes I use like a regular lip liner, but you can also just kind of like blend it out with your finger to make it sort of like a soft blendable lip, you know? Do the under part, usually focusing in the middle. Look at the difference there. Like it just creates like such a beautiful pouty look and it's such a perfect cool toned nude. And the product itself is so like blendy, but it stays put. It's not like going to just wipe away immediately. You know what I mean? Doesn't that look so, it's like, oh, instantly huge lips. You know what I mean? Like instantly plumped. I realize like my dark circles are just like popping really hard right now. So there's that. <laughs> but um, this with like a slightly, just like with like, like a gloss or like a, a padded out um, lipstick or something, it's so good. But what I started using it for was contouring my nose, which has been the bane of my existence for my entire life. This is so perfect for contouring my nose because it's so incredibly blendable. So the way that I start usually is by starting up here. Um, I'm gonna use my Refer 13 brush. This is from my, the little set that I did with um, Refer with the extended handle. So I go just above the tip and blend that. See how easily it blends? Oh, but it has like ever so slightly of a waxy feel, less like ever so slightly less creamy because it's a lip liner. So it's it really stays put. So it's not just kind of like, a lot of the time when I use just like a regular cream contour to contour my nose, it's a little too wet. Like it's not matte enough. And it ends up just like, I'm trying to contour this area. Like I don't want it to be all shiny, you know? Okay, so that's how I start. And then I usually, I, start, I recently started, um, I'll bring it in to the tip and then I just kind of like avoid um, bringing it in too far on the bridge because I have these bumps. So I just kind of use 
the contour to like bring the tip in a little bit. So I'm gonna blend towards the tip of the nose. Ooh, look at that blend, it's so easy. It's just like so easy, I love it. Okay, refining the tip and then just a lighter hand blending into the side of the nose. I like to do this before my concealer. Okay. And it's not one of those, um, like it will stay put. So obviously you don't want to just let it sit forever, but it's not one of those products that like, it has blendability time. You know what I mean? Like you can't, it's not like you have to um, put it down and then immediately start blending it. So it's pretty beginner friendly. Okay, then I pretty much always do a little, just a little boop right under the tip of the nose. Give it a little lift. Ooh, it's just so easy, you know? It's just so easy, it's so easy to use. You just pop a little bit down. It's the perfect color I have, um, Anyone who doesn't know, I have a fair, warm olive skin, and this contour color is just so perfect. I love it. You could use it as an eyeshadow stick. You could use it to contour your face, you know? I just think it's absolutely fantastic. I love it so much, and I wanted to share it with you guys because it's like totally changed everything. I feel like in particular, it's had the most effect on my nose contour, but I love using this as a lip product. It's obviously kind of small, but you could use it for your face. like. If you're someone who has a really difficult time with keeping product in like a smaller area, in like a more intentional area, I'm just using my brush with Ruffer to blend this out with light padding motions. You see that? It blends so easily like it blends so easily it's so nice i just feel like it's a really great multi-use contour product despite its size being so small like that's what i like about it okay i just wanted to pop back in and show you how it kind of like fits with the rest of my face now that i have the rest of my makeup on i have concealer i've powdered all of that stuff i'm just going to build up the definition of my lips a little. See how soft it looks? Ugh. Oh, it's just so easy and it just makes it look like, it gives the that like padded, undone, blurred lip so effortlessly. Ooh, it's like my favorite, it's my favorite. It's my favorite ever. All I need now is like a gloss or just like any padded lip color or lip balm. And I'm, I'm good to go, dude, I'm good to go.